did you know that you can now create your videos with a consistent character? And I don't mean from animating images. The AI tool I'm going to share with you today has actually made that possible, or at least it's the closest thing that we've seen to perfection when it comes to consistent videos. Let me show you what I mean. But before we get started, kindly remember to hit that subscribe button. Also remember to like and share this video so that more people will be able to find it. Let's get right into it. The AI tool I'm talking about is Pixverse, and with Pixverse you can actually create videos with a consistent character from one reference image. It could be an image of yourself or an image that you've just created with AI, but you need to actually have a reference image. And for now, you can only use realistic images for this. So for that, all you need to do is hit character, then create character. And here you'll be able to upload your reference image. First, we are going to name our character for easy identification during the video creation process. I'm going to name our character Annette, and the next thing I need to do is just go ahead and upload our image. So I'm going to choose one of the images that I'd created earlier on, and I'm going to just drag it. Okay, I'm just going to upload it over here. Once your image has been uploaded, you can go ahead and hit create character. And then the AI is just going to go ahead and process your image and add your character to the database. So our character has been uploaded. And the next thing that you need to do is just go ahead and hit create character. So we're just going to give the AI a bit of time to process our character. So I'm going to create another character, but with an image of the same, same character as the one we uploaded before. But this time I'm going to use the landscape version. Since it's the same character, I'm just going to name this Annette too, so that I'll be able to differentiate between the two images. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and upload the image that I want. But remember, this is absolutely unnecessary. I'm just doing this because I feel like the image I uploaded earlier doesn't show the entire faces I'd like it to show. Again, this is just going to take a minute to process. So we're just going to hit create character and let it process. So our earlier image has already processed, as you can see, it's written success, meaning that it's easy, it's sorry, it's ready to use. Once our images are ready to use, the next thing that you need to do is just click on create. And this will take you to another interface that looks like this. This is the video creation page. And with Pixverse, you can create videos from text, image, and from character. So with text, all you need to do is input a prompt. You can go ahead and input a negative prompt, then choose the style that you want from the styles that are available. The next thing that you need to do is choose your aspect ratio. And after that, you can just go ahead and hit create and your video will be created. So the next thing is the image and you can go ahead and upload the image that you want to animate. Then the next thing you can do is add a prompt. And after that, you have an option to choose the camera motions. And with this, you can actually choose from horizontal to vertical roll and to zoom. So it's up to you to choose how you want your image to be animated. So after that, again, you can go ahead and choose the motion strength. This is going to determine the intensity with which the elements in your image are going to move. If your images contain people or animals or such, you may want to have a lower motion strength. This will ensure that the features of your image are not distorted. You can check the HD option, but then again, that is going to take a longer time to render your video. Once all that is done, go ahead and hit create and your video will be created. Next is the character option, and that is exactly what you're interested in today. So when you click on character, you'll be able to go ahead and input the prompt. And to this prompt, what you need to input is what you want your character to be doing, the environment that they are in, and what's happening maybe in the environment. You can also input uh, something like maybe what they are wearing. That is totally up to you. But what is of utmost importance is you have to describe what your character is doing and possibly where they are and maybe what's happening around them. You can leave the auto character prompt on because that's going to help the AI understand your prompt better and it's going to give you the best possible output for your prompt. So you can also go ahead and input a negative prompt. Now you can choose the character that you want for this specific video. So all the characters that you have will be available in this drop down menu here. So as you can see, both Annette and Annette are available and I'm going to choose Annette. 
and then I'm going to choose the aspect ratio that I want. After that, I'll just go ahead and hit create and the AI is going to start creating my video. Our video has been generated, so we're just going to go ahead and click on it and see how it turned out. So in terms of referencing the character, it's done a pretty good job. So the basic idea here is to use the same character when you're creating different video scenes. Now I'm going to use an edit tool for the rest of my creations today. So instead of referencing the first image that I uploaded, I'm going to reference the second image. So let's go ahead and choose an edit tool and create this. Looking at the resulting videos, I can see that the consistency is really, really good. Now all you have to do is just keep creating using the same reference character and it'll end up having a full video that has the same, same character. I tried generating a video of our character at the beach. I did not even say that she was wearing anything specific. I just said that she was lying at the beach with water rocking back and forth. But as you can see, I'm told that the video cannot be generated. So again, that may be a limitation here and there, considering that someone at the beach, I wouldn't call that racy. I mean, it's not extreme content, if you know what I mean. All the same, looking at the positives and the negatives of this AI tool, I'll say that it's something you definitely want to try out. So if you're into creating videos, movies, AI generated movies and all that, you may want to give this a try. Also note that the videos that you get with Pixverse are only four seconds long, but again, I think that's pretty sufficient for a scene, depending on the kind of movie that you're creating. Looking at the videos, I'd say that the quality is pretty good. The consistency of the character is pretty, pretty good. So this is something that you can absolutely use. To download your video, just go ahead and click on the video itself. The next thing that you need to do is just go to the very bottom and click on the download button. The video will be downloaded to your computer. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.